Now we'll uh, move on to the next module uh, where we want to learn the parameters of feed forward neural networks and we'll first start with some intuition and then get into the mathematical details. Yeah, so we have introduced feed forward neural networks and we are now interested in finding an algorithm which can allow us to learn the weights of this network. Okay. Okay. So recall our gradient descent algorithm. This is how it looked. Okay. I had initialized those two parameters w naught b naught and then I was iteratively doing this in a loop. At every step, I was moving in a direction opposite to the gradient at that step, right? Now, can I write this a bit more compactly? We can write it using vectors, okay? So, are you okay if I write it this way? So, these two was actually nothing but a vector at every point, right? So, I can just write it this way. So, theta is the vector containing w and b, okay? So, or theta is a vector of all the parameters that my network had. It just so happened that that network had only two parameters. Okay. So, you see where I am going with this? How many of you see where I am going with this? Okay, good. So, where delta theta t, right, just to remind you, it was this, the partial, the collection of all the partial derivatives with respect to all the parameters. In this toy example, all was equal to two, right, we just had two parameters. Now, you see where I am going with this? Okay. So now in this feed forward neural network, instead of theta equal to w comma b, what do we have? Theta is equal to so many parameters. Okay. So what would grad of theta t now be? Partial derivatives with respect to all the weights. But there is a problem here, right? This is a matrix. How do you take the partial derivative with respect to a matrix? Who asked you to use a matrix? How do you take the, de the partial derivative with respect to the matrix? So what I'm interested in this, right? That's the question. I know there's some loss function, which is a function of theta. One of the elements of theta is this matrix W1, which belongs to R n cross n, right? And now I want the derivative with respect to W. So let's see what I'm trying to do. This is a scalar. I'm to take the derivative of that with respect to a matrix. What is that? The derivative with respect to every element of the matrix, okay? So, we can still use the same algorithm, except that del this grad of, so now I could just say that theta to, I mean, initialize all the parameters in theta naught, right? Compute the gradient with respect to all of them, and then do this update, right? I could just, instead of putting them in matrices, I could just think of them as a large vector, just that initially I had just had w comma b, now this vector is even more large. In fact, I'll show you actually how it is, right? So, this is the grad with respect to uh, theta looks very nasty now, and this is how nasty it looks, right? So you have this weight matrix W1. You have the derivative with respect to the first element of W1, all the way up to the last element, last element, right? So with respect to all the n cross n elements of W1, what's the next entry going to be? W2, 1, 1, 2, W2, nn. Next up to WL11, okay? And then after this, Bias. what is remaining? Biases, right? So you have B11 to B1N, the slight error here, but intentionally, this actually is K, because K is not equal to N, right? The last layer has only K parameters, but I just, so that it looks okay, right? Uh, is this clear? So this, these are all the deri de partial derivatives that you need, right? You don't need to worry about taking a partial derivative with respect to a matrix. It just boils down to taking the partial derivative with respect to all elements of the matrix. So earlier you just had two parameters. Now you have these n cross n plus n cross n up to L, right? So L into n cross n plus L into n. That many number of parameters is what you have. You get the calculation, right? Or rather you have L minus one layers, each of which has n cross n parameters, right? And L minus one layers, which also have the biases, so these are the Ws, these are the Bs. Then the output layer, one layer which has n cross k parameters and k cross 1 bias. So these are all the number of parameters that you have. And this is exactly what this size of this matrix is, right? It has all these parameters. And you need to compute the partial derivative with respect to each of these parameters. Okay? Fine? So 
So this is what grad theta is composed of. It's composed of the partial derivatives with respect to all the parameters of your network. Okay. So now if someone gives you each of these quantities, some oracle gives you each of these quantities, then can you apply gradient descent? Right? You can use exactly the same algorithm that you were using earlier, just the sizes of all your vectors changes. How many of you are convinced that you can use gradient descent? This is not a trick question. How many of you are convinced? Okay, how many of you are not convinced? Assuming that someone has given you these quantities, right? I know this is hard to compute. We'll see how to compute that. But let's assume someone has given you this. Then you can use gradient descent. That's what the case I made on the previous slide, right? That you could initialize with all the parameters, compute the gradients with respect to all the parameters, and just do this update, right? Okay, fine. Okay. So now we need to answer two questions. First is, this is the key question, right? Because we are taking derivative of what? Loss function. So we need to know what the loss function is. Right? That's a crucial question. Right? And then we are taking derivatives with respect to all these elements. So whatever I told you that assume that the oracle gives you, now you have to do the hard work and actually find it out. Right? So if you can answer these two questions, then we are done. We have an algorithm for learning the parameters of a feed forward neural network. You will agree that if we have these two elements, then we are done. Okay? So here's where we will end this module.